easy on Mac, Mac, Mac. Hey, chest on deck, no meds, why S bake off with Gap? Yes. Fast one for back with another video. Um, today's video is a story time. I told you when I'm at uni, you're probably gonna get more story times because naturally more things just tend to happen when you're at uni like when i'm at home not a whole lot goes on like my life's pretty mundane like doing videos is the only thing that keeps it from being like a regular life i don't really do a whole lot when i'm at home but at uni um you just got way more time there's just more things to do that just spontaneously occur like saturday morning i'm just chilling actually i'm not even chilling i'm sleeping and um for some reason my phone was on my chest I don't know how it got there. I think I might have woken up a bit before and then gone back to sleep. And then as I'm re trying to re-enter sleep, Billy calls me out the blue. Billy the goat calls me. He's like, bro, I managed to pan you on the guest list. So uh, you've already seen the title. You probably know what guest list that was. Digger was performing in Knots. And um, my boy had actually been trying to get me to get tickets. Like during summer, like literally back before uni even started, like two months ago. And um, for the most part, they were actually sold out. And uh, I couldn't even access the link. I kept trying to tell him, like, bro, like, send me the link. He just never sent me the link. I don't know why, he just never sent me the link. So um, I never actually got onto a page where it said, like, yeah, purchase tickets. So I don't even know how much tickets cost. Um, which uh, I never really ended up having to worry about because I ended up getting it for free. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, man, I pull up. Um... And the line was long, like the line, when I got out of my Uber, I was like, aye, there's no way they expect me to get into that line. Luckily, I didn't have to walk past it. It literally was like, the queue was like, how I'd assume the queue was back in the day for like the release of like the iPhone 5S. Like, remember when people used to camp outside the Apple store just to get a new phone? It was like that, like the queue was outrageously long. Because you got to remember that Digger is like, arguably... Or at least top two biggest artists in the country right now. Um, you can debate amongst yourselves whether it's Hillmore Central C. Um, I'm sure cases could be made for both. Um, but he's one of the biggest uh, rappers in the country right now. So people here, he's performing. I, I remember I was inside. I was meeting girls from Brum, from Leicester, from Derby. Like people travelled to come to this event. Um, luckily for me, it was ten minute Uber from my com. But people really made a long like journey to get to the event. So imagine I'm now at the front of the queue. And um Yeah, we've got it on the guest list. So now we're just walking about. And I can't let not a whole lot happen for a while. Cause um Digger was even asleep backstage. Cause obviously when you're touring, like it's long, like, you barely get rest. Like, you do a show and then you drive to the next one. You do a show, drive to the next one. The next one is in another city, like very far away even though you tried to like coordinate them so it makes some sort of like practical sense so that if you've got shows in birmingham not in them you'll group them together because it's not too long of a journey but if you got a show in like knots and then portsmouth the next night which is like as down south as it gets um then you're not really getting much rest so he was literally sleeping backstage for a fair bit um meanwhile we're just trying to get everyone inside um i was inside chilling for time um, shout out my boy Kano, Billy's boy Kano. I was just chilling with him for time and RD. We're literally just chilling. Um, not RD from Oliver Twist, like R and then D. But um, <clears throat> yeah, we were just chilling inside for ages. Um, just waiting because it must have taken a long time to get everyone inside. But anyways, you lot don't care about that. So the show eventually finally starts. And um, at this point, I think I was just chilling downstairs. Um, I think with my boy... That was trying to get me to get the tickets for time. Shout out my boy Rashaw. Uh, was trying to get me to get the tickets during the summer. Um, but obviously he's got his. So now we're actually just chilling. Diggers out. Everyone's happy. Uh, cameras everywhere. I'll put some clips up on the screen right now. It was a very, very nice event. Um, because what it was, it started, I think doors open at 6.30. Um, meaning it's not like some nightclub. It was, I mean, it was technically, it was at a nightclub. Um, it was at a club, one of the biggest clubs in the in the city, actually. It's called Rock City. Uh, if you're from Knotts, you know about Rock City. Like, you haven't really been to Knotts until you've actually gone inside Rock City. Uh, it's an experience that you only really get here. Um, that being said, besides that, I haven't been to Rock City. I can't lie. Nothing's, like, enticed me enough to go. So um, I only went there. But point being, because it was doors open at 6 30. So um, you didn't even need to show ID. There were kids in the room. Um, I definitely saw some kid that was like 12 Like, there, there were very, very young kids in the room But point being, 
his fan base is very, very broad. So um, these lot were knowing all the lyrics to all the songs. Like even songs that like I would like to say I know most of Digger's discography at this point. Like at least the best songs. Um, that's why I did the ten v ten with him and Lewski, but had to take it down for copyright reasons. But um. Yeah, I mean, I would like to say he's improved a lot as an artist, but for even back in the day, like, he was very cold. Like, the music he was making back then could very much hold up today. Like, if he dropped, like, uh, what's the song from back then? Like, if that Next Stop Freestyle dropped today, it would still bang. Like, it would still be a moment. Maybe not as big of a moment as it was because of the time it dropped in, but it would still, like, shake the scene up a lot. Like, the guy's very talented. Um, so, yeah, man, the concert's going on. I was downstairs. There were mosh pits. Uh, it was very crazy because those kids got energy, fam. That's one thing I clocked. Made me feel like some old man, fam. Just jumping up and down for time, bare sweating. I was like, fam, there's too many baddies in the room for me to be walking around sweating, fam. Like, I'm more thorough after the 5k now, nah, nah, nah. I can't lie. Miss me with the mosh pits tonight, man. It's not even that late. Miss me with the mosh pits. So, um, yeah, I wasn't getting too, too involved in them. But otherwise, dude, yeah, that was pretty much it. Uh, the show was a very great success. There was one bit which uh, Digger tried to get into the crowd to film a TikTok. And um, it was just too hectic. Like, the energy in the room was just too crazy. Like, even though they were all there for him, when he was asking them, they weren't listening to him. Like, they were just too, like, crazed up on hype that they just couldn't, like, actually listen to what he was saying. And he was like, yo, like, create some space. I'm literally trying to come in and chill with you lot. But... You need to actually let me get in because the, the crowd just wasn't moving. So he tries to go to the other side. He's like, right, you lot, you lot, I'm mocking it. Let me go to this side. And then everyone just moves over like it was some stampede from like, People really nearly fell over. Um, we were doing back and forth, like flipping the bleep test in the room, trying to create space for this guy to get in. But um, yeah, eventually he did just in front of where I was. Which meant that people were pushing and shoving all over me. So fam, my ankle was doing a lot of heavy lifting. So like, you know when you're on a boat and they throw that anchor into the sea to make sure the boat doesn't move? That's what my ankle was doing for. My Achilles was doing a lot of heavy lifting, a lot of serious overtime for him. But anyways, <coughs> yeah, man, after that, show was pretty much done. Um, DJ started playing just like random tunes, some Digger tunes. And Digger was even still on stage, but I think people clocked at the most part of the show is done. So, um, yeah. I would love to say, well, now I wouldn't love to say that's it. Normally, this is the part where I'd say, yeah, that was it. So, uh, thank you very much for watching. But today, nah, it, my show didn't end there. Most people's show ended there, but my show didn't end there. So, imagine, um, at this point, as I said, I'm downstairs. My boy, um, I was just walking with my boys. I think they were shortcut. Um, and at this point, I look up and I see Billy. Billy's like, yeah, yeah, him. So, um, and this guy's just chilling with Jason. So, we walk up the stairs. I'm like to Jason, I'm like, yo, he's like, yo. And then um Billy's like, yeah, this is my boy. I was like, yeah, yeah what's up? And then um, yeah, they were just getting pictures taken with people taking pictures with Jason. Um, and then uh so um, yeah, so at this point we're trying to go back behind stage. The security guy's like, Oh, you haven't got a response then yet, you can't go backstage. We're all like, fam, but like this guy is the best friend of the rapper that just performed. And you said he can't bring his friends rest. Like, you're not making any sense. So at this point, Billy's just like, I just go away from me outside where we linked up earlier. Because before, Billy wanted my hat. So, um, did he give it back? I don't see it. My room's a mess. I'd like to assume he did, but... I'll look for that hat later. I don't even wear a hat anymore. But anyways, um... <laughs> Let me focus. Yeah, so at this point, then, uh, yeah, so I must have gone back behind stage. Um, no, back outside in the car park, and then now there's like some gated barriers. And this bit was so funny because imagine, so now Billy, Jason, Digger, and a few of their management, a few of their team were just there chilling outside. And then um, we must have had to go through this barrier and then at the same time tell all the people behind us, I can't let you lot, you stay there. We're going to go in here, but. You stay there. So um what is it? Then yeah, we're just chilling inside at this point. Um and then um no outside even, we're just chilling outside. And um yeah, Digger's just there. And I'm lying to him because I met him years ago, like before No Diet even drops. And that's the song that I would say started the upwards trajectory that you could argue he's still on now. Um but I met him just before that. So I met him when the next stop was still on paper, his biggest tune. 
So um, yeah, I remember at the time it was ages ago. He was just chilling in my in my in my area. I remember everyone kept saying, "Oh, have you seen the guy? Oh, I saw about Donalds." It was like, "Where's Wally?" In, in the whole of my flipping town firm. And then I remember one day we we're just in the library and we got outside and we're like, "Hey." I swear that's Digger. Like, I'm just, <laughs> he's a Digger. But, uh, nah, but for real, we were like, right, is that is that not him? And then we went over. I remember that I'll put it on the screen, but, um, yeah, I got a picture of him. And then uh, there was a video I just recorded. He was just bunning the zoo. So imagine I buck him again outside the concert. And I'm like, to him, I was like, yo, like, I don't know if you remember this, but we met like a few years back. You were just in my local area at one point And he started laughing He's like, bro, I can't lie and He was like, Jason, hey, come look at this, come look at this Because yeah, then I showed him the video He was just budding the zoo So imagine I must have asked him I put my phone out again I'm like, I did go Are you telling the snap? He's like, hey, three years later I'm still smoking dope <laughs> What are you telling the snap? Three years later, man, I'm still smoking dope <laughs> So yeah, man like, he's, He's literally like From, like, I remember quite vividly When I met him that time before And I would say, like I remember when No Doubt dropped and he was doing all the ad libs. Like I was like, yeah, I can't lie. This is literally what the time that he was on in real life. He's just a calm, very laid back, like jokey type of guy. Um, so um, yeah, he, he's still on that same vibe right now. Even like now he's like up, up. He's still on that same vibe. That's why I rate him so much. Like I wouldn't say I know him on a personal level, but like he's one of the few artists that I've met more than once, if not the only artist um, I can think of. I don't know. But, um, yeah, and each time, like, he's not, like, a prick to fans or whatever. Like, he's just a very calm guy. So, I remember at this point now, we're still outside. And um, then we must have gone inside. And, uh, yeah, now we're inside. I was like, I was like, I, I don't know if you know what I do, but, like, um, what is it? Yeah, no, I just react to music on YouTube. He's like, bro, like, I know who you are. Like, we watched the videos. I was like... Fair enough. <laughs> Didn't even know what to say at that point. I was like, hey, right, like, fair enough. I can't lie. That's that's pretty crazy. So um, yeah, man, and then yeah, we were just chilling, um, vibing, dancing, drinking, just having a nice time, man, just enjoying life. But um, yeah, that was very crazy. I can't lie. I was just speaking to like his management, like they're all very cool guys. Um, and yeah, man, I was like, to me, I think they put some young boy on. I was like, I think I was like, fam, you know, like you and young boy would slap so hard, and I feel like their styles, like within their genre, would work very well. Like young boy is in his own league, he's in his own lane over in the states. Like I've said this on Twitter so many times. Like every time I listen to a new young boy song, I rate it. Like it's weird. Like even Gunner, like Gunner's my favorite. But there's some Gunner songs that I don't really listen to like that. Like I don't really like them. Like if you showed me them. I'll probably have to be honest and say, I can't lie, not really feeling this. Like, some songs from, like, 2017. Like, with him, you can see, like, there was, like, a progression that he made to, like, now um, Drip Season Forever has songs like A Lot of Cake, Flooded. Like, the guy makes music now. But, like, with Youngboy, it's, like, from... I don't know if Untouchable was his first song, but if it was, that song slaps. Like, every song he's ever dropped just slaps. It's really weird. And, um... Yeah, and Digger was like, yeah, man, I know, like, it would actually bang. But with Youngboy, I think, I don't know what his deal is over in America, but, like, it's like he's blacklisted from, from the industry or whatever. So, I don't know how it would work, but hopefully, if it, if it could ever happen, I really hope that could happen. Like, that would be such a cold collab. But, um, yeah, man, otherwise, I can't lie, that was pretty much it. So, um, yeah, we were just, um, we were just backstage, just chilling for a bit, uh, just enjoying life, like I said, and, um, yeah, man, I was just deep in it. The whole the whole ordeal for me was just very, like, surreal. Like, especially him, of all artists, because I actually met him back in the day to now. And, like, we've both come a long way since then. Like, he's, like, as I said, arguably the biggest uh, rapper in the country right now. I'm not doing too bad for myself. Um, I mean, the fact that we've even just... Like, the fact that, like, we met just back on the street three years ago, and now we're chilling backstage when he sold out a show in the city i happen to go union but i'm backstage because of all the things i'm doing like it's just very like humbling like um yeah i just give all thanks to the lord because these things don't need to be happening like i don't really deep it all the time because at this point it's, it's just become my life like random things like that just happen to me now but when i actually sit down and think about it and it's weird like it's when i like look at pictures of myself when i was younger and i just think to myself like i still think a lot like I did back then. Obviously, I'm an, nearly an adult now. I'm 20 in December. So, whether I like it or not, I'm soon to officially become an adult. 
Um, I mean, technically become an adult at 18. So I've been an adult for a year and a bit now. But um, yeah, just when I look back and I think about how like life before I started YouTube used to literally just consist of go school, play FIFA, go school, play FIFA. And I was just like doing very normal things, but like all it took, shout out my boy Lenny. I'll never stop saying shout out my boy Lenny because I used to spam my snap story. Like if you knew me back then, I used to spam my snap story. Like really used to spam it. And Lenny was like to me, bro, I've said this in my first ever video that's on the channel. Like you're entertaining, so entertaining on snap. But like you can't grow from that. You can't get bread from that. Like why don't you start a YouTube channel? And um, now we're here. So um, yeah, as I said, all thanks to the Lord. Uh, I know I've got some reactions to film. I haven't forgotten that. Um, a lot of songs. A Harlem song with TG Millie. I'm very excited about that one. But um, yeah, man, I've got some lectures today. Um, this is what I'm saying. Like, being a YouTuber is just so surreal sometimes. Like, I actually have... Le I'm a uni student, but I'm doing all these things as well. Like, I don't even know how Billy does it, man. Like, it's very, very crazy. Because at the end of the day, I've actually got lectures and I'm going to the... I paid 9K to go... I, I can't, like, I have to go to those lectures. So I'll go to the lecture. And then, um, yeah, I don't even know what I'm doing tonight. That, that's the problem, like, I'm just so busy. Um, so I wanted to at least get this video out so you know, like, I'm not ignoring ya. I'm not, like, avoiding uploading. Like, I want to be uploaded. I'm constantly trying to upload. There's just no time. Like, even today, I woke up like an hour before my alarm so it took me a minute to like reconfigure my brain like figure out what it is that i'm doing today like what day is it monday all right what's the time 12 what have i got to do today lecture at four when i'm done with that that's an hour long lecture i'll take the bus home and uh yeah i've got some things to do i need to take my hair out. i'm getting my hair redone tomorrow and uh, you'll see what it looks like i know my afro is gonna look fat this time it's gonna be like this so uh <clears throat> you'll see what happens when I get my hair redone. Um because uh that's what is happening tomorrow. So I need to take it out either tonight or tomorrow. So um again that's what I'm saying. So hopefully I'll have time. If I can't do a lot, I'll do at least that Harlem reaction, like at least. Cause I can't I, I kinda have to do that. Uh because I don't have sort of one four, but said so many times I grew up on Harlem, so um not in Harlem, I'm not from New York, but yeah, literally that was the music that I grew up with, like, if you want to, like, like, contact my 14-year-old self, play some Harlem, so, um, and TG Millions been, I think that verse going to be recorded from Joe, I don't think he's out until next year, but, anyways, anyways, point being, uh, yeah, life is just very crazy, it's very crazy, so, um, yeah, from meeting on the street by chance to meeting backstage, because we're both doing things with life now <laughs> it's very crazy but yeah man for now i love you guys because look what you have done look what has happened as a result of you guys supporting me it's very crazy this is even just the start so um yeah man but for now i've been searching on for thank you very much for watching leave a like if you enjoyed it subscribe if you're new i'll be back again shoot